Hi, I'm Dr. Alexander Ngenzi from University of Rwanda College of Science and Technology, a Department of Computer and Software Engineering. Okay, um, now we are, we are approaching the, the end of, uh, of, of our outlined points that we have discussed today. One of the outlines that I, I mentioned from the beginning on this chapter of FFT or Fast Fourier Transform is what we call uh, yeah, uh, the butterfly. It, it goes in hand with uh, the radix uh, 2 and 4 uh, to compute the number of, 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 of endpoints. So suppose uh, now the butterfly, uh, you know the structure of the normal uh, the butterfly, which is insect, the butterfly, uh, you know. Its wing, the way how it is formed, this is the structure that we are talking about. What does, it, what does it help and what does it mean to have a butterfly structure is that suppose if we have points mentioned in different order, then they are going to look, their, their layout or their structure are going to, to look like a butterfly form or the butterfly structure. So you have two points and you want to make a, a zigzag point in this case, then it's going to form a butterfly structure uh, and that's why it, 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 its name is, uh, is appearing in this case. So we are going to see how it looks like and uh, what does it help in terms of two-point calculations or four-point calculations as we have seen in the LADEX, two and uh, four respectively, and see uh, uh, how does it look. It looks nice when, when you are, uh, its layout looks nice and that's why we are bringing it to simplify the number, the complex uh, com computation of our FFT, uh, okay, our DFT uh, using this FFT algorithm. So, um, as I as, as I mentioned in the intro of this butterfly structure of uh, of our FFT, uh, which is which can be either of any point, uh, you can calculate any point at any is equal to six or any is equal to four. But for example, if you take, for example, uh, uh, the two-point DFT. Now let us begin with a two-point two point DFT calculations, for example, DFTs. So in this, these two points, we are going to discuss uh, at the even part and the odd part. So the even part, for example, if we have two points, for example, if we are considering two inputs and two outputs, for example, remember uh, the even values, for example, if we have at n is equal to 4, for example, uh, then you will have at x0, at x1, x3, and x, oh, no, 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 x2, and x3, for example, here. So this is even, this is even. We, 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 we take them out, then we say at x0 at this point. One point is x, x0, another point is x at 2. So we can have, for example, uh, then x1, then x3 in this point. So you can draw them according to how I have, I, I have mentioned them. So uh, you will, we will have one line, for example, the line coming to uh, any point here, and another one, uh, any point here, at this point. So uh, these two points need to be joined. Uh, 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 the, uh, the, the, first, uh, the first step. The first step we have to join these points. So we are going to join these nodes. Uh, these are the nodes. Then you can join every node here and any node here. And here we just call it like, uh, it's, it's like network analysis for those who have studied network analysis. We just put it at the point it's, uh, here, the, any point just moving from uh, the point of origin towards, uh, so it is mentioned in that case. 
So we, 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 we just, there is a point where it is mentioned, uh, and here also we have uh, a direction. So we have a, 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 form, a format like this one, we have this one. So from zero to any point, from zero to any point, that's why you see the other point is like that. Likewise, at x is equal to 1, we have any point going to this side and another point going to this side. And if we join them, it's going to be this side and that side. So this is like this side. So, so you have uh, some, uh, this is like the length of the, 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 the calculation. Remember, the, 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 these negatives and negatives, remember when we are calculating at W, uh, remember, if you can recall very well, we calculated at point where it is four at zero, for example, we get the, the result, for example, in a form at uh, this three, uh, like that. So this is what we are putting, uh, the, the length of the, those areas, for example. So for the two points DFT, it's going to be, um, and this is called, uh, it's going to be X of zero plus, uh, x of 2. This is first, first format. Uh, and also uh, at this point, and, but at this point we are going to have uh, uh, the x, x of 0 um, minus x of 2 at that point. Uh, well, as this one also is going to be x of 1. Uh, plus x of 3, and here is going to be x of 1 minus x of 3. So this is, this is uh, uh, very important to, to uh, note. So here they are saying uh, they give some notations, for example, at z, at z is equal to 0, and z is equal to 1, uh, z1. Then here they say V, zero, V, all those things, okay, they, they are mentioning this. To say that it is, there is any uh, point that is quite different, so it's, a, it's a notation of those formulas. So um, this is a two-point, a two-point DFT, but also you can have a four-point. A four-point means uh, we, are, we are ranging from um, x1, x0, up to x3, and the same, in the same case, then we combine them at the same, at the same time so that we can get um, uh, the, 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 the info. four point DFT output can be also obtained. So this is common. So you can combine them. If it is four point, if it is eight point, you, you also extend to the other side depending to which output you can get. So um, I hope this one you understand. Uh, these negatives are taken from the other formula that we showed from the beginning. And also um, this is a two point, but also we are going to discuss at the four point. Uh, uh, how, how, how does it look like when it is, uh, when it is uh, four point? Here which is also x of 0, and the output, which is x of 1, for example. And this also can be drawn, for example, as we used, to, we are bringing the butterfly structure, x of 0, uh, begin, for example, the other one, x of 1, the, the other one, the other one, then this is going to be, so you can just use the butterfly structure, then you get such a kind of structure. So this is going to be one, um, and this is negative one in this case, and then this can be j, negative j for example. And so this is okay, this one is always, uh, the, the, the values in this case. So there is going to be, as I said, for the output here, it's going to be x0 plus x1. Um, 
1 in this case and then here is going to be x of 1 is going to be x of 1 minus x x of uh, 0 in this case. So this is the resultant uh, butterfly format. So you can see this is a two inputs, but also you can use the other four inputs. Uh, it goes down and then you get the, the other force outputs. So the, the, in, 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 in summary or in the, in the conclusion, you can see this can be a, con uh, a continuous stage. Here you put a plus sign to show some of the continuation so that you can extend the output on the other side and become uh, more efficient in calculating all those values. So, um, okay, uh, we can combine them. Uh, we can also combine the first uh, signal to the second signal. Suppose if we have two inputs, uh, uh, two points DFT, you can combine another system. For example, you can have a N signal here to the X, X0 is equal to zero, for example, then X2 is equal to two, for example, any value, and X1, uh, X1 is equal to one, for example, then you have X3 is equal to three. So you can combine all these signals and just to say summarize them. So uh, here you can have any point here mm, at uh, any given continuation if you want to get a result. And then here you can also have another one. So you are going to combine these ones. I remember this point. Then the continuation here shows that the arrow will show the output, for example, any output at x is equal to zero, and any output for, uh, output for uh, x at one. So here you can have another uh, uh, continuation here. Uh, so let us just take this side. And then um, we have a continuation plus sign here then you will have this value on this side. Then there is any continuation here. Um, here. So if you want to combine them, uh, not yet, okay. So you can have any continuation at x2 and x3. Now, you want to join these two, signal, two, two portions. So first of all, what do you do? You bring, um, for example, okay, we put here some any ending signal on this side. Any an ending signal, an ending signal on this side. So it's a matter of just connecting the first one. So you bring this one and then uh, you can bring the other one, uh, it meets with this one. Then the, 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 the first one, then the second one, and this point. Then it is done. You know, then you can, can write uh, Y at 1, and W at 1, uh, W at 2, for example, then W at 3, then there is also W uh, at, at 2, for example, there, W at 2, so uh, I think there should be also W at 0 on this side, but it is not mentioned. So this is how you connect. So I have connected point to point. There is what we, we call this as a point of connection. Then if you see this arrow, it is a continuous towards the, the output in this side. So the output can be seen in this side, for example. Then you can have a summation of these numbers depending to your input uh, at uh, input is equal to 
the first thing is, is going to be, for example, at, at input, at x is equal to 0, uh, we have 0 plus 2. Uh, at x is equal to 2, we have, uh, depending to other uh, um, calculation that we saw, uh, where we said, where we said g1 minus g2, or g1 plus g2. So the first one, g1 plus 2, uh, two which is a function 1 plus, um, let, let me make it clear so that you can, you can get the, the answer. Remember, we, So uh, at, we can make a table uh, showing the, the, the resultant uh, output of what we, we have uh, seen. There is a, okay, we can just put it here and just say, this is the input. So we have input. Uh, we have S1, that is input one. Uh, but also we can have output, output which is big X of K in this case. So the first term at X is at X zero, which is equal to zero, at X, uh, X two, which is equal to, at X, equal to 1, which is equal to 1, and x3 is equal to 3. So we have all these uh, laws uh, that we have to, to determine. So the first law is 0 plus 2. Uh, uh, which is equal to 2, of course. Then another one is 0 minus 2, which is equal to negative 2. Uh, then 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. Then it's got 1 minus 3, which is equal to negative 2. And then the output x0 is going to be 2 plus 4, which is going to be 6. Then at, at x1, then we can have uh, 2 minus 4 which is equal to negative 2. Then at x2, we can have uh, 2 minus 4, which is negative 2. Now at x1, we shall have 2 plus negative j, uh, negative j minus, uh, times minus 2, which is going to be uh, negative uh, Okay. No, this is negative. It's just going to be negative 2 um, plus 2j in this case. And this is the same as what we, we said. And then at x3, going to be, of course, it's, going, it's also going to include j uh, plus uh, negative 2 into j. Uh, which is going to be negative 2 minus 2j. So we are going to take this one, take this one like that. So in conclusion, x of k is going to be 6 plus, OK. We just take it like that. The first term is going to be 6. The second term is going to be negative 2j plus 2j. Then the third time is going to be 2, this one. And uh, the other one is going to be negative j minus 2j. Then, yeah, I think 1, 2, 3, 4, yeah. It's going to be like this. So this is the answer. Uh, given these values, for example, at, at the formula. So you can be given, you cannot give, get supplies to get the, so this is a sequential number, but also you can get a butterfly, it's equivalent butterfly, the way how we have connected uh, it previously. 
So this is uh, the, the simple example of butterfly calculations where you can see uh, these uh, numbers, series of uh, numbers that, that we have obtained as our, our DIF uh, and the frequency, of course, domain. So, yeah, I think uh, from this point we, we can conclude our, our today's lectures. Um, I, I think uh, we, we, we I, I must thank you for the for the the patient your patience of being with us, uh, and also remember to uh, to subscribe and share and also do some comments. Your comments are very very important in in improving this online teaching. So I thank you once again and uh, and. Uh, and uh, looking forward for uh, to you to attend my next, uh, next lectures. Thank you very much.